Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. We come to you tonight in Jesus' name, and we're excited that God is getting ready to do a new work in your life. God is getting ready uh, to bring about uh, not only the call of God on your life, but he's getting ready to bring about a, a commissioning of the government of the kingdom of God. God has ordained you for such a time as this. He's anointed you. He's commissioned you. That means uh, he's called you from mission to greater mission. Amen. And even though the time has gone by and, and, and you've been going through, through, through trials and through tribulations, uh, God tonight wants to bring forth a clear word. He wants to refire you tonight with the fire of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, Apostle Angel Gutierrez coming to you from Miami, Florida, uh, All Nations, uh, Destiny International. Uh, and, and from here, we are declaring and decreeing to the nations of the world that Jesus Christ is Lord through, hallelujah, consuming fire radio ministry, which, is go which has gone global into the nations. We're doing the work, hallelujah, of the Great Commission, of going into all of the world to preach the gospel. And the word of God says that these signs shall follow those that believe that they'll lay their hands on the sick and they will recover, that they'll cast out devils, that they'll speak with new tongues. The signs of God are evident. Hallelujah. For those that have been chosen, that have been called, that have been commissioned, that have been anointed. Hallelujah. For such a time of this into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And the, the word of God says that no man putteth new wine into old bottles, else the new wine doeth burst in the bottles, and the wine is spilled, and the bottles will be, will be marred. But the new wine must be put into a new bottle. Hallelujah. And you know what? That's what the Holy Spirit does. The Holy Spirit makes you a new wineskin. The Holy Spirit, hallelujah, is evident tonight as uh, the work of the ministry is, is getting uh, um, started in your life. Some of you are starting. Some of you may have started and gotten hurt and may be down. But tonight, arise, shine, for the light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you tonight. God wants to bring the new wine of the revelation of God because the word of God says in the book of, of, of Acts chapter 2 that on the day of Pentecost, when the day of Pentecost had fully come, you see, before in the Old Testament, the day of Pentecost had partially come. When Moses went up to Mount Moriah, hallelujah, and, 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 and Mount Sinai, and, and he saw the glory of God, he saw the burning dish, bush, when Moses went up, hallelujah, and he saw part, parts of God. Hallelujah. He went up to, to receive the, the, the Ten Commandments, the law. Amen. And he put limits on the mountain. Only he could go up. That's why the day of Pentecost at that time had, had partially come. But in Acts chapter 2, the Bible says that on the day of Pentecost, when the day of Pentecost had fully come, hallelujah, they were all of one mind and one accord. One mind means the mind of Christ. When the Holy Spirit, when the spirit of your mind and the mind of the spirit align, then God now can start to download the revelation of the Holy Spirit, the wisdom, the knowledge, the revelation. And the Bible says that all of a sudden, suddenly, hallelujah, suddenly, because that's how the Holy Spirit works. You see, God is a God of drama. When God shows up, hallelujah, the things, the earth shakes. When God uh, puts his footstep on the ground, the earth shakes, hallelujah. So suddenly, God showed up in the, in the upper room. And the Bible says that the place that we were was shaken, hallelujah, and, and, and a, a mighty rushing wind came and we start to see the wind well hallelujah the power of the holy spirit hallelujah the authority of the holy spirit we start to see the wine the revelation of god now being downloaded into uh, uh, uh into these uh, uh people that were waiting in the upper room just like tonight you're waiting and the holy spirit is downloading tonight hallelujah his program into your spirit and the, the bible says and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. They were filled with the Holy Spirit, the promise of God, the person of the Holy Spirit filled them and they started to speak in other tongues as the Spirit 
gave them utterance, amen? And things were not the same from that moment on. We see in the third chapter of the book of Acts, uh, later after Peter had been in that upper room, Peter had been uh, had rejected Jesus right at the time of crucifixion. He had rejected him three times, and, and, and Jesus had prophesied it to him. This night you will reject me three times before the cock throws twice. Amen? And Peter, uh, that had been a coward in that moment, that Jesus needed him the most. Amen? But God is a God that forgives. Maybe you have been a coward in the past. Maybe you have fallen short in the past. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. But thank God. Say to yourself, thank God for the Holy Spirit. Because after the day of Pentecost, that Peter was there. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. And he was filled with uh, the Spirit of God. And he spoke with other tongues. Amen. Uh, it was a new Peter. It was the Peter, the God-man. Hallelujah. And that's what the Holy Spirit comes. He comes to bring the life of Jesus. The Bible says that Satan cometh not but to steal and kill and destroy. But Jesus has come to give us life and give it in abundance. That abundant life is the life of the pneuma of God, the breath of God, the Spirit of God. You see, that through the Holy Spirit, God activates uh, the ministry of Jesus when we were filled and baptized with the Holy Spirit, other than salvation, amen, that is the most, the second greatest work, amen, that God does, is the baptism of the Holy, the fire of God. You know, today, uh, very sadly, I was at a pastor's uh, uh, prayer meeting, and uh, the Holy Spirit directed me there. I was told me to sit in the back and to pray in tongues for these people, and I really thought I was at a funeral, <laughs> not a prayer meeting. And um, I interceded the whole time, and finally I was given a, an opportunity to pray, and the glory of God came down because, see, the, the, I carry the fire of God in my life. Amen? Hallelujah. And God, that's what God wants to do with this generation. See, a, a religion has brought, is there, it, it brings forth, a, 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 it creates a sterile, a sterile believer, a believer that is sterile, amen, if you're sterile, you cannot reproduce the life of God. But amen, when the Holy Ghost uh, gets a hold of you, when you're filled with the Spirit of God, when you're baptized uh, in the Holy Ghost uh, with the evidence of praying in tongues, when you're in the Word, when you're in prayer, when you're seeking and pressing in into God, you see, uh, even the prophets said when they tried to uh, you know, when they were discouraged and they tried to shut their mouth, they said it was like fire in my bones. I can't shut my mouth because the Holy Ghost is there. You see, the Holy Ghost has come not to speak about the Holy Ghost. He's come, amen, to reproduce the life of the Son of God. Hallelujah. The Son of God that was crucified on the cross. Jesus Christ was crucified. And the Bible says that he descended for three days and three nights. And he preached them to the captive. But on the third day, hallelujah, the grave could no longer hold him because uh, the Holy Spirit came, amen, into that uh, Hades where he was, amen, and God brought forth the resurrection, amen, the power of the resurrection, amen. He resurrected from the dead, hallelujah. The Bible says that for 40 days and 40 nights, amen, he, he, he preached the uh, and he showed himself unto the people, and he ascended, amen? And he said, the same way that you've seen me, uh, uh, the same way that you've seen me go, I will come. And he told uh, the disciples, amen, to, in the book of uh, Luke and in the book of John, he said, wait until you are endued with power from on high. Endued with power uh, from on high, because I will I will send the promise. I will send the comforter. See, Jesus was referring to the Holy Spirit. He was referring to the power of God. He told them, wait, because he said that on their own, they could not do, they could not accomplish, amen, what God had set them forth to accomplish. He had set them, uh, he had set them in the path of greatness, in, in, in front of much oppression and much persecution, but he had set those 12 disciples in the path of greatness. Amen. And he called them unto himself and he commissioned them. Amen. And we see here the book of Mark. And it says, 
and he straightly charged them that they uh, should make known, and he goeth up into a mountain and calleth unto whom he would, and they came unto him, and he ordained twelve, he commissioned twelve, and that they should be with him, that they might send them forth to preach and to have power to heal the sickness and to cast out devils. And, and, and Mark and Matthew chapter 10, hallelujah, says that he called them first disciples in the verse, first verse, but then he called them apostles. Amen. And, 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 and that's Matthew. I'm sorry. Matthew uh, chapter 10 uh, as we go there and we're going to see uh, the, 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 the transformation that the Holy Spirit brings. Amen. And it says, and when he had called unto himself the twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirit to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness see, uh, uh, and all manner of disease. Discipleship is when you are in the learning mode. Are you hearing me? When you are being discipled by God, you are in the learning mode. But when the Holy Spirit commissions you, he, these they were ordained, they were commissioned, amen? And, and now he says the name of the twelve apostles, Hallelujah. Uh, and, he, and he goes through the name of the 12 apostles in verse 2. But then we, we go a little bit further. Amen. And, and, he, and he said, and we see uh, verse 7, as he as you go preaching, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Amen. But we see that the first agenda of the Holy Spirit is to preach for the kingdom of God. Uh, the first agenda after the holy spirit fills you after the holy spirit commissions you after the holy spirit sets you apart and consecrates you hallelujah hallelujah then he uh is activates the plan of god in your life as he as ye go preaching saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand heal the sick cleanse the lepers raise the dead cast out devils freely you have received freely give amen hallelujah hallelujah so we see that the holy spirit is getting ready uh to prepare your life for greatness amen and and, and he brings about the glory of heaven amen uh through the promise of the person of the holy spirit and the holy spirit endues you with power from on high amen so you are filled to overflowing that's what endued means filled to overflowing with power from on high. And if you remember the words of the great apostle Paul, he was always saying, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the Spirit of God. See, to be able to confront the giants, we need to be filled with the Holy Spirit of God. Because what God is calling you to do, you see that God calls you to greatness. But greatness requires that we be tested with great adversity. When Moses, amen, was told by God to send forth the 12 spies into the promised land, amen, into the land of Canaan. Remember, they had been 12 years in the desert, or 40 years in the desert, and they had gone around for 40 years in the desert. And, and, and finally, amen, amen, um, when they, were, when they were near the Canaan land, God gave instructions to Moses, amen, and he told Moses, amen, that, hallelujah, um, that uh, to send the 12, um, the 12 um, uh, uh, spies into the promised land, amen. And so Moses sent the 12 spies to review the land before entering. And so when they came back, their reports were contradictory. Amen. You see, you have to see that the, the place that God is calling you to is a place that's filled with giants. Amen. The, the, the place where God is calling you forth is not the easy road. Amen. It's not the low road, but the Holy Spirit takes you on the high road. Amen. So when the 12 spies came back, they had different reports. When they came back, their reports were contradictory. Ten had evil reports. Two had good reports. Ten were giant conscious. Amen? So all they could see were the giants. Two were God conscious. Ten could not see beyond the giants. So they embraced the grasshopper mentality. Amen? 
That's the natural mentality. You see, the Holy Spirit is the supernatural spirit of the person of God. See, we can't have giant and grasshopper mentality, amen, when we're going through trials and tribulations, amen? So you have to know who you are in Christ, and only through the Holy Spirit can the life of Christ be reproduced in you. You are not called, you are called to 1 Corinthians 2.16 to have the mind of Christ, to know all things, amen? We, when we're going into the promised land, into the place where God is calling us to, we cannot have a giant mentality or a grasshopper mentality, amen? Hallelujah. Ten could not see beyond the giants. So they embraced the grasshopper mentality, and they never entered into the land that God promised them. You know why? Because, hallelujah, their mind was not renewed by the Spirit of God. They ignored the wisdom of God and forfeited their opportunity to success. Amen? It's very, very, very important. Let me tell you something about winners and losers. When the Holy Spirit is not only has filled your life, but when it's, it, when it's guiding and redirecting your life. Remember, the Holy Spirit convicts you of sin. Amen. It shows you what's wrong. But when it convicts you, it redirects you. It guides you. It leads you. So a, a, somebody without the Holy Spirit is a loser. Losers focus on their problems. Losers discuss their obstacles. Losers focus on enemies. Amen. Uh, and, and, and enemies achievements. Losers adopt a victim mentality. Oh, me. Oh, poor me. If you have that type of mentality. Amen then let me tell you, you're not on, on God's side. You're not on the winning side. So you have to renew your mind with the word of God. Remember, where God is calling to you to is a high mountain. God is calling you to greatness. You cannot look at the giants and you cannot look at, you can't have the giant mentality and the grasshopper mentality. Oh, the giants are too big. Oh, uh, there's too many enemies in this land. You know, God's calling you to the high road. Amen. Now, winners focus on possibilities. Amen. If God has said it, God has called me to it. Every place that I place my foot will be the promised land. Winners embrace opportunities, meaning winners are positive. They're not negative. If every time you're, you're asked to do something by God or even by somebody, and you, all you think about is, oh, I can't do it. Oh, this. Oh, that. Let me tell you, you have a giant grasshopper loser mentality. Amen. But when we're told to to, to to do something and there's an obstacle in the way and it's it's difficult, amen, then we see the possibility because if God said it, what was the difference between the two spies uh, versus the ten? They always, always, always had God's wisdom first. They knew that God had promised them this land. They knew that the giants were in the land but if God had promised them this land, they knew that this was a Holy Spirit spoken word over their life that they would possess the land. Amen. So, hallelujah. So, uh, uh, we cannot have a victim mentality. We cannot have a, a negative mentality and say that you're in the kingdom of God. Winners have a sonship mentality. I want to repeat that. Winners have a sonship mentality mentality winners are simply ex losers who got mad are you hearing me hallelujah and you should you should laugh there amen because we've all at one time been losers let me tell you that and whoever doesn't admit that then you know what you have a problem so lo winners are men sonship mentality kingdom mentality are losers or ex losers who simply got mad. You know why they got mad? Because, they, you know what? I don't want to take it anymore from the devil. Amen? You're not, when, as long as you have a victim mentality, you do not have a kingdom of God mentality, the Holy Spirit mentality. Amen? You have the mind of Christ. You know all things. Amen? So praise the name of Jesus that those two spies, amen, got up in front of the assembly, they ripped their clothes, and they said, Hallelujah, that if God has given us this land, that we will eat the giants, amen, like bread. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And, and thank God that, that Moses was able to recognize the voice of the Holy Spirit. So if you're going through difficulties tonight, 
Hallelujah. You got to recognize, amen, in the midst of the confusion, in the midst of the trial, in the midst of the tribulation, you got to recognize the voice of the Holy Spirit. That's why you need the Spirit of God, not just to prophesy, not just to, hallelujah, to operate in gifts, amen, but you need the Holy Spirit when the rubber meets the road, amen, when the heat is in the kitchen, when you're going through trials and tribulations, when the bills are stacked up on your counter, you need to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit when the giants, when you're being confronted by giants, amen, hallelujah. But you know what? Praise the name of Jesus, that God's work always goes forth. Amen. That they were able to recognize the report of the Lord. Who shall believe the report of the Lord? Are you going to believe the report of the doctor? Cancer? Are you going to repeat? Are you going to believe? Amen. The report of the uh, bank. Amen. Uh, your bank account. Are you going to believe uh, the report of the of the attorney? Amen. Uh, you know, the, the world never has anything good to say to us. Amen. Hallelujah, you got cancer, but they, you know, we prayed, amen, and praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, we just had a report a few weeks ago, amen, of a sister in Ohio that had uh, uh, spots all over her. She was in uh, intensive care. We prayed. She was in pain. Ten days later, she was in, 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 the, in the intensive care unit, and she called to give the testimony that all, everything, even though they saw spots, three different spots, they said it was cancer. They thought it was cancer. But when the rubber hit the road and you declared and God declared, holla through the Holy Spirit, amen, that by his stripes you were healed, amen, amen, the report of the doctor came back negative, amen. So the Bible says, who shall believe the report of the Lord? The report of the Lord says that you are healed. The report of the Lord says you are delivered. Hallelujah. Psalm 103 says, forget not his benefits, who healeth all of thy diseases who forgiveth all of thy iniquities and sins hallelujah who uh, crowns you daily with loving kindness and tender mercies hallelujah the word for the lord says isaiah 45 that i've opened the doors and make the crooked way straight i've broken the bars of iron and the bars of brass and i have for you hidden the hidden treasures amen hidden treasures got but you got to press in you got to have the mentality of the holy spirit you have to see the giants and say whoa hallelujah we're gonna take these giants down we're gonna be giant killers we're gonna be city conquerors amen everywhere where we put our foot on the ground hallelujah where the boots meet the ground hallelujah will be the promised land you know why not because angel says it not because Mike Bradford says it, but because the Holy Spirit says it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So tonight, God is leading you forth into a breaking of a new season. God is leading you forth. You need to hear this encouraging word to be refired in everything that God is speaking. Speaking to you. Everything is culminating unto this moment, unto this point. And there's a prophetic word through the Holy Spirit that's being released upon your life. Hallelujah. That you will take down the giants. Hallelujah. That that mountain will be yours. You remember the report? Hallelujah. When uh, Joshua was, was uh, handing out the inheritance to the people and all the young whippersnappers wanted the easy flat ground. Amen. Hey, nobody, your flesh never wants a challenge. Your flesh never wants to uh, suffer. Amen. That's why I see this uh, Hollywood gospel that they preach on television here. Hallelujah. But it's not the gospel of Jesus because the gospel of Jesus says that we're going to go through something. The gospel of Jesus, amen, in Second Peter says, count it not strange when diverse trials come upon your life. Hallelujah. Knowing that when Jesus is manifest that the glory of God will be seen in you. See, you're going through something for the cause of Christ. Hallelujah. So, hallelujah, the real gospel, hallelujah, has real trials and has real tribulations and has real problems. But when we have the mind of Christ and when we're filled with the endued with power from on high with the Holy Ghost, let me tell you, every giant will fall. Every mountain will be made a plain. The Bible says, speak grace, grace unto the mountain, and will be made a plain, Zechariah 10. Hallelujah. And we see that the work of the Holy Spirit is culminating in your life, that there's a promotion that's coming forth, that you're just a little bit more, you're getting past this trial, this tribulation, that this light uh, trial 
cannot compare to the glory that we're going to witness, that we're going to be part of, that we're going to see, hallelujah, as God delivers us and prepares us. And we're like the diamond that's being formed under great pressure, under time, under tribulation. Amen. As, consider everything you're going through tonight. Amen. And does it compare with this word that you're receiving? Of course, hallelujah, that God is great enough to be able to resolve your trial, your tribulation, your financial situation, your legal situation. God is able, hallelujah, to deliver you, hallelujah, because he is the deliverer. When you go through the water, you will not go under. When you go through the fire, you will not be burned, hallelujah, but you're going to come out of the fiery oven. Even as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that did not bow their knee unto the idol that Nebuchadnezzar had raised up. But when they opened, hallelujah, the ovens, they had heated them seven times more. And even the soldiers that opened the ovens were burned instantly. But when they threw them into the fire, they were bound. But in the midst of the fire, the Bible says that when Nebuchadnezzar looked into that oven, he said that he saw three men loosed and a fourth that was uh, unto the Son of God. Hallelujah. Ooh, I feel the anointing of God tonight because God is showing up in your fiery oven. Hallelujah. You were bound in the past, but you've been going through something. You're going through the fire, and all of a sudden, now you're loosed. And all of a sudden, hallelujah, God is showing up in the midst of your oven, in the midst of your fire, in the midst of your tribulation. God is showing up for you. God is getting ready to bring you out of the fire, and out of the furnace. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that when they came out of the ovens, that not even smoke was smelled upon them. Amen? Hallelujah. And God, amen. You see that God, everything you're going through, my, my beloved brother and my beloved sister, is in preparation. It's not the devil. Is that God has permitted everything that we go through, amen, to be able to greater form the character and life of Christ through the Holy Spirit in your life amen hallelujah so tonight i declare isaiah 60 upon you arise shine for the light has come and the glory of the lord has risen upon you amen darkness will cover the nation in deep darkness but the glory of god through the holy spirit will be seen upon you and kings will come into your light you're you're, you're that light that the holy spirit is 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 shining through your life is going to draw Amen. The kings, the queens is going to draw all of those souls out there that that see that you possess something. So you see, when when things are light, but when things get dark and you have a light that's shining, people are going to be drawn into that light in that light. Amen. Is the life of Christ through the Holy Spirit. Amen. That is being um, released and is being uh, 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 activated in a greater level and greater dimension. Now, what is important now? What is important? What must you do at this time? Well, you must press into God. Amen. If you're baptized in the Holy Spirit and you haven't been pre praying a lot in tongues, you must start to pray. Amen. I pray continually in the, in the Spirit. Pray continually in tongues. Amen. Hallelujah. Because the, it's going to bring about when we start to pray in tongues and the gift of the Holy Spirit ignites the fire of God in our life. It ignites the passion, ignites the fire, it ignites hunger. Amen. To seek him more. Amen. And so as all of these things are ignited by the Holy Spirit in your life, your life it begins to be transformed in the midst of trials and tribulations and chaos. Amen. God has got you on a steady path. Amen. And he's going to bring you through the trial, the tribulation, the sickness, the legal disease, the financial problem, the family problem, whatever it is that you're going through tonight. Amen. As you start to pray in the Holy Ghost, the things, uh, heaven and earth start to align. When we pray in the Holy Spirit, the Bible says in Romans that it's it's it's, uh, uh, it's it's groanings and utterances that the Bible says that we pray in the perfect will of God. The Bible says that when we pray in the Holy Ghost, Amen. That we're praying according to Jude in our most holy faith. That we pray in the Holy Ghost. The Bible says that we're praying and aligning perfectly with God, Amen. And the Bible also says that the the devil cannot discern 
the prayer language that God has given you. You see, when they were filled in the Holy Spirit, they all prayed in tongues. In the book of Acts chapter 18 and 19, they prayed in tongues and they prophesied. Amen. Prophecy is the spirit and the revelation of Jesus. The spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus. And God, uh, a Holy Spirit is a prophetic spirit. The Holy Spirit, amen, speaks uh, uh, of the oracles of God. Amen. So as we start to get activated and endued with power on high, amen, the Holy Spirit is also our comforter. The Holy Spirit is the paraclete, the comforter, the one that guides us, the ones that leads us, amen. And the, the work that God has started in us, he is faithful and just, amen, to finish it until the day of Jesus Christ, amen. So he's faithful and just to finish it until the day of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of Jesus. I'm excited tonight, amen, that uh, many of you who are able to um, tune in to a Consuming Fire Global Radio uh, Network, amen, that is faithfully broadcasting the gospel into the nations, amen, uh, doing the work of the Great Commission, amen, and, and, and I'm very uh, honored and humbled to be a part, a little part of what God is doing through this great radio station and, and through the man of God that, uh, that God has put as a steward in the station. So uh, we pray for uh, Brother Mike Bradford tonight in Jesus' name, and we declare and decree that everything that God has spoken, even in this broadcast, amen, he's receiving, it's being activated in his life, he's going forward with his family, he's overcoming every financial burden, he's overcoming every burden, hallelujah, of uh, uh, physical burden, every, uh, uh, he's been attacked many times with sicknesses, and God's hand has been upon him and his family, so we thank God for those, that even that are listening tonight, if you're sick tonight, I declare and decree that by Jesus' stripes you were healed, I bind the spirit of sickness tonight, Amen. Uh, I, I really feel that many people are suffering from arthritis. That's the word that God's given me, the word of knowledge. There's a lot of people that are suffering from rheumatoid arthritis. And tonight, in Jesus' name, I bind uh, and I curse arthritis at the root. And I speak of a word of healing right now. Uh, I see people that have uh, neck pain. There's a lot of people that are in pain that are going to be listening to this. And neck pain right now, in Jesus' name, I declare and decree that even, hallelujah, even the disc in your neck right now that were fused, as somebody that had an accident, that has suffered an accident and is in great pain, and even it's been years and still in great pain, and, and even tonight as you as you hear this or, or when you hear this uh, uh, this uh, uh, radio broadcast, I declare and decree that God is activating through the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus miracles, signs, and wonders, and I speak a creative miracle into the life of all of those that are suffering with pain right now in Jesus' name. And tonight, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, God, through the Holy Spirit, activates uh, the gift of miracles and signs and wonders and healings. And I, and I curse cancer tonight at the root in Jesus' name. I curse, uh, uh, hallelujah, I, I see that there are, some people have uh, problems, uh, eyesight, seeing problems. And right now I speak healing to your eyes. In Jesus name I, I, I come and I speak <coughs> to those that are suffering and have suffered uh, uh, a heart coronary heart disease high blood pressure diabetes amen in the name of Jesus gastrointestinal problems amen uh, heartburn reflux amen in the name of Jesus right now tumors right now we curse in Jesus name we, we curse them to the root and we declare that by Jesus stripes you were healed. The fire of the Holy Spirit, right where you're at right now. Just raise your hands in Jesus' name as I'm praying. And I declare and decree that even tonight God is activating uh, uh, prophetic uh, dreams right now. Signs, wonders, dreams, visions. Hallelujah. Prophecy. In Jesus' name, receive this now. Receive this now. Hallelujah. We bind the spirit of witchcraft we bind uh, uh every tormenting spirit amen we bind those that have had uh that have been diagnosed with mental disorder schizophrenia bipolar hallelujah uh excessive compulsive disease add ocd hallelujah because i know that jc can heal all of those diseases in jesus name we curse those at the root and we declare that as you get in the word of god that the mind of Christ will be activated 
and you're going to be able to overcome every obstacle in Jesus' name. Well, tonight, I mean, I think we're going to leave it there, and we'll be with you again soon through uh, Consuming Fire Radio. Hallelujah. Uh, and remember, until next time, the kingdom of God suffered violence, and only the violent take it by force. God bless you in Jesus' name.